Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's video, we are going to discuss the topic of TSMC 28 nanometer based layout and as well as submicron versus deep submicron. So 28 nanometer is a starting level of the deep submicron technology. So we are going to see the layer wise layout. Now we have a 28 nanometer technology based on inverter schematic. So here you can see the gate length of the transistor is 30 nanometer and we have one single multiplier and single fingered. It's a basic inverter with 28 nanometer technology. Just directly we'll go to the layout section because see schematic wise all the schematics are same even any technology or any node schematic wise it's everything is same. So there is no difference in that. So directly we'll go to the layout. See now you can see this is a 28 nanometer technology based PMOS and NMOS. So just so this is our PMOS circuit right side. Okay, right side and left side we have a PMOS and NMOS. And you can see the layers over here in LSW window. So we have the same layers. So here in LSW window we have the same layers. So there is no other uh, special layers for 28 nanometer or 65 nanometer and 90 nanometer. The only one extra layer here we have a PM layer. So which means polymetallization layer. So this polymetallization layer usually they will use for uh, to improve the conductivity of the both PMOS and NMOS because we know right. So we are working with the lower technology nodes. So even in higher technology nodes also. So the device performance it is very poor in case of uh, in terms of leakage and in terms of switching time and in terms of on and off times so the device performance is very poor in higher technology node itself the designers or uh, layout engineers are facing some problems so again we are coming to the lower technology nodes which means from 65 to which means from submicron to we are coming to the deep submicron so it's a 28 nanometer technology so here in this 28 nanometer technology gate length is very smaller but still we need to improve the conductivity of the devices. So the polymetallization layer PM layer it is used to improve the conductivity of the both PMOS and NMOS. So apart from this we have all the layers are same like OD, Poly and P implantation, N implantation, metal on layer everything is the same there is no other special layer just directly we will go to the layer wise. See now everything is same here so just we will measure the gate length of the transistor see actually it's a 30 nanometer from here to here it's a 30 nanometer so i have chosen the minimum gate length of the 30 nanometer devices so which means it's a 28 nanometer nearby to 28 nanometer so here we have a only one difference is there compared to submicron to deep submicron so in our 28 nanometer technology so we have a dummy layer for poly so why we need this dummy poly or else we will call it as a supporting poly also. So here you can able to see the green color layer left and right okay. So this X mark or into mark. So you can take it anything. So these dummy layers only they are using to poly. Okay it's a poly. Some people used to call it as a poly supportive layer or else supportive poly or else dummy poly. We can call it as any name. But these green color into mark layer right some x mark layers are there so these layers particularly they are using to support to poly so why we need this dummy poly so usually we know in higher technology nodes only we are facing lot of problem due to itching we are not able to fabricate the proper device of the poly and as well as the source and drain so still again we are coming to the lower technology node so we need to properly fabricate this poly which means our active poly we need to fabricate our active poly in the proper manner without any itching related issue. So to fabricate a single poly we need two supportive polys. So these two supportive polys are like a pillars. So whatever related itching related problems or other related problem. So the end of the devices are the corner, corner poly. So which means so here right side we have one dummy poly. Left side we have one dummy poly. If any itching related issue right. So these dummy poly will get affected too much so we can prevent the active poly from the itching related issue so usually we will get a two dummy layers so only for poly not for source and drain okay no difference between 
submicron and deep submicron which means uh, so before we have uploaded few videos on 65 nanometer technology and 90 nanometer technology so there is no difference between 65 to 28 the only one layer is the polymetallization layer and as well as we have a supportive poly layers so just so the supportive poly layers I, I told you already what is the reason for the supportive poly and just so very fast I will complete the layout how to connect the layout or else how to complete the layout so first right so if you want to connect an inverter diagram or if you want to give the connection to the inverter see actually we need left and right side only we need the dummy poly so in between here so now how to remove this dummy poly actually we don't want this dummy poly whenever we are doing the connection we need only left and right side only we need we need dummy poly just click the device go to Q we have a parameter of the devices so this is a parameter of the device go to the parameter of the device so here you have an option called layout related parameters just turn on the layout related parameters so in my case I don't want left dummy poly because left side I am going to connect the source to another devices which means PMOS so I am turn off the left dummy poly so you have here left dummy poly and right dummy poly secondary left dummy poly and secondary left dummy poly okay just turn it off see the dummy poly I have removed here so same procedure you have to follow to the NMOS also just go to the property so in PMOS I don't want the dummy poly on right side just turn off from the right side so both right side I have turned off just click apply and come here so just see I have removed the dummy poly from left here it is left and right side I have okay I have removed the dummy poly just go to go to the device and just make sure the connections that's all so we know right so so now I have removed the left and right dummy polys and we know how to do the proper layout connections so we need to do with the PP implantation and NP implantation so this is our PP and this is our NP so just we will align the devices based on the PP and NP connections and PP and NP connections see now almost see now just I have aligned the devices so left and right only we need the dummy poly then normal layout we have to follow here normal layout procedure there is no special layout procedures are there you can route over this dummy poly also no issue if you want to give the source connection or something see you can route from here to here you can route no issues so from here to here also you can route so over the dummy poly you can route you will not get any kind of DRC issue because it's a poly so over the dummy poly you can route then directly you can connect the source and drain connections also here just right over the dummy over the dummy poly also you can route you will not get any kind of DRC issue and directly you can route these two devices and gate to gate connection so you just want to follow the rest of the procedures are same like submicron so there is no special routing techniques or there is no special things here you need to give importance to the device routing the only thing it's a lower technology node so we have a lot of problems like uh, second order effects like WP LOD and other ST related effects and some other second order effects are more higher to the submicron because it's a deep submicron so just I want to show you how the layout structure will be there from normal submicron to deep submicron so this is a 28 nanometer technology node and this is a layout okay so there is no other special things are there and just we will take one more look of our uh, 65 nanometer also meanwhile be see now here we have a right side we have a deep submicron device which means 28 nanometer technology and left side we have a normal submicron devices which is 60 nanometer technology so here you can easily see the ruler so it's a 60 nanometer technology and this is a 30 nanometer technology and this is a 28 nanometer so minimum gate length i have followed with 30 so easily you can see the layers from the 28 and as well as 60 okay so here you can see the lsw of the 60 nanometer submicron so no other special polymetallization layer and dummy poly layers are there is just a normal devices we don't want such, such a dummy to fabricate these devices and this is the right side we have a 28 nanometer technology so in 28 nanometer technology we have a dummy poly devices you can easily see the layer we have a dummy poly layer and as well as we have a one more layer here pm polymetallization layer so both the things are left and right side I, I have given as much as your convenient to understand very easily so just there is no other special layers either just a PM layer is there that's all and other we have one more layer for poly dummy pose just I'll disable this now I'll enable this just it's a poly dummy layer only two difference are there between the layout wise this is a two difference between submicron to deep submicron but operation wise and performance wise there are so many things we need to understand okay so based on the theory we can easily understand those things but layout I just want to show you what is the difference between these two things
I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email ID and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.